What's up you guys? Avery here bringing you a video today. Wanted to discuss all of these changes that we've been seeing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, just in like the past couple of days along with the OCG ban list. And I really just wanted to rant about it. It's really been kind of getting under my skin and just with all of this build up and hype coming into uh, the TCG ban list and us really wanting a list to the OCG getting two lists and we haven't even gotten ours yet. I'm going to be talking about all that in this video. So the first thing that I wanted to discuss is of course the link summoning and all the ruling changes. I do think that our upcoming balance is going to give us a lot of changes in the game. Um, on top of that, I think that all of these changes um, that are being made because of link summoning, I'm kind of iffy about. I will be honest. Just because of the fact that there's all of these changes coming into play and it's like we don't know what's going to happen for the long term. You know, like, let's look back at the Exceed era. You know, when Exceeds first came out, Konami ruled, oh, hey, if you detach Sangu and a Reborn Tangu, you get their effects. But yet, in it now it doesn't work like that. It used to be ruled like that. So, you know, Konami might retract on some of the rulings that they're making now later in the future. Like, it very well could happen, and it just makes me worried. I know before in a video I was, you know, optimistic about, and I do try to be a glass-half-full person, but the problem is, is that this is almost, like, too much. And I know that that sounds weird, especially from the fact that, you know, we're coming off a pendulum summoning, which is, like, you know, d way too powerful uh, as it is, and then exceeds summoning was very tame compared to what Pendulum Summon is. Sorry, the whale had to drink some water. Um, and it just... <clears throat> it worries me more than anything. I feel like the game... It's not going to get out of control. It's definitely going to be slower, but I just feel like that something's going to get exploited, and then Konami's going to have to make a bunch of different rulings, and it's just going to make the game go haywire, which worries me. And then, with that out of the way, the main points I really want to discuss is our banlist issue. Konami, why is it that the OCG has gone through basically two ban lists now? They've gotten two new lists since we've gotten our previous list from 08, 24, 2016 when Monkey Board and all that crap got hit. They've gotten two lists and we have yet to get our basically, I guess, first one of this year. Like, what's up with that? I understand that they're waiting until you know, March 31st, some people are saying, which I hope that that doesn't happen. I have a regional April 1st, and I've invested over $700 in the zoo. So, you know, laugh at me if you want, but they need to bring it out, like, at the starter deck. But it just, it irritates me, and it makes me so mad that Konami is completely wasting away their company, essentially. Just, you know, OCG has their head on right. It's Konami of TCG or Con Konami of America, whatever, that just can't seem to give us a ban list. Like, they... They're in a completely rough spot. I understand that. Like, if they give us a list now, it kind of really puts a monkey wrench into everything. But yet, if they wait till like March 31st, which is what a lot of people are thinking now, it could hurt regional locations, which I doubt that they care about that, but still. And then they're pretty much just left with, you know, the starter deck when that comes out in like, what, June? And on top of that, they're trying to balance, like, making all of these ruling changes and all of this other just stupid garbage that just, it ticks me off more than anything because it's like, you know, again, we, we could have had a ban list by now. We could have at least had something where Konami makes a couple changes, you know, maybe it's not a huge list, like what everybody's expecting it to be post-link, <coughs> excuse me, post-link summoning format, but still, they could have at least given us a list patched up a couple things and said, here's your listen to Link Summoning format. Like, they could have done that. And don't even get me started on not having an end date. They need to have an end date on the ban list because it hurts us players that want to buy product, that want to, you know, not just get product from our friends or teammates or whatever. You know, we want to be able to invest in this game. We want to be able to invest in product and hopefully be able to break even on our money or at least make a little bit back. And it's... It's just scummy, in my opinion. It really is. Like, I'm worried that all of, that they're gonna make so many rule changes now because of link summoning. Uh, I'm aggravated at the fact that we don't have a ban list yet. Like again, OCG's had two. We've had none. What's the deal? And the anniversary pack. I mean, it looks good. I mean, we're gonna be getting a lot of cards basically reprinted, which is nice. Uh, does that mean that they're going to come back? 
maybe. I mean, we've seen it in the past when BLS came out in that Gold Series a long-ass time ago, and that ended up getting reprinted. Or it got reprinted, and then it came off the list to one, and then the gold, the gold rares were like $30, and before they were like 5 So it's just one of those things in Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys. But, you know, I don't know how else to really put it into words other than the fact that it's it's just bad business practice, you know? Like, it, this goes to show that Konami is just being flat-out lazy with their game, well, here in the TCG anyway, that, you know, they're not giving us a list, they're not doing any of this other stuff, they waited until today to give us information on a list, or not a list, on a set that comes out in, like, two weeks. And, you know, <coughs> all I have to say is that I'm going to be pissed if they release a list March 31st and it goes into effect April 1st because I have a regional that day and I do not want to lose money on Zoo just because of a ban list. Now, does that mean that they're going to hit Zoo? I don't know. They might not hit Zoo at all. They might just, like, hit Tanky and some other stuff. But still, I want to be able to play the deck at full power and then get rid of it. Um, and then, of course, you're going to have people that say, oh, well, Avery, you should have known not to invest in the deck and blah, 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 blah. Yes, but I shouldn't be worried about investing in a deck that I really want to play just because Konami's too lazy to have an end date on their ban list. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This has just been something that's been on my mind all day. I've been watching Capital G's videos about all the new changes and stuff, and I wanted to cover it, but I've been so busy with school and work that I just did not have the time. I wasn't going to wake up at 7 in the morning or, hell, 5 o'clock in the morning, whenever Randall decides to make his videos <laughs> and talk about the the changes. My my videos don't get me enough views for me to be that dedicated. Um, that and my ass was tired. So let me know what you guys think. Please keep spreading the word of the channel. Like, am I overall excited for Link Summoning Format? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. I am. It's just, I don't want to see a whole exceed thing all over again where Konami has to retract on everything and be like, oh, Tengu doesn't work this way. Sangin doesn't work this way. But if you're playing Burning Abyss, it does work this way. So it's like, you know, both hands don't know what the other one's doing. So anyway, that's it. I'm done rambling. Thank you guys for watching as always, and subscribe if you have not already.